Aloha, my name is Kyra Santos and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you know when I post the next video. As you can see here, the environment has changed and I thought I'd do a video from my very own backyard. So today's topic is going to be all about jazzing up your pieces so they look super cute like this. Stay tuned. So there are so many reasons why you want to package up your jewelry in a cute manner, professional looking, is because when you give these pieces either free or you can actually sell them for their retail price, it looks very chic and professional. So what I would like to do is show you how to actually package them up in this very manner. So there's only five things you're going to need to complete this cute packaging look. You're going to need this type of cardstock paper. You can get them on Amazon and don't worry, I'll actually include them in the description. This is a five by seven. And once again, it has some body in it because it has a cardstock texture, but this is gonna be the size five by seven. You're gonna need some type of clear packaging to package up your jewelry. So it looks just like this. So you can buy those together or you can buy them separately. It's totally up to you. Once again, the cardstock is five by seven and the clear plastic is a six by nine. Buying the same sizes will be just fine as well. The jewelry is not super thick, so you're not gonna have that depth issue. Next, you're gonna need your pair of scissors because we're gonna cut the cardstock. You're also gonna need your piece of jewelry and I would recommend a necklace that is a little bit more dainty, not something that's really thick because then you run into bulkiness and some type of heaviness issue. Another thing that you're gonna need, which is number five, is your business card. Whatever card you use. So I love to put my business card on here and things that actually say like my shopping storm website, my actual VIP group, my business page, my social media platforms, how to contact me via email, the days I go live. So those are things that you can actually include on this card stock. You can get it at Vistaprint, you can design it yourself, um, but you wanna have something like this. Having it the same size as your cardstock is gonna be perfect because then it can match the backing of your actual complete look. Now you don't need this extra item, but it might be helpful. Um, we know that we buy so much jewelry and we love to keep necklaces for ourselves. So my suggestion is getting the tag for that. So this can kind of be a great gauge. So this is a great item to have. Basically, we keep a lot of necklaces ourselves, right? We love the jewelry. So you should have an extra one laying around. This is just gonna kind of help be the template for your actual initial cutting. But after you get a good cutting on your cardstock, you can mass multiply after that. So let me show you some of the things I consider when I actually cut. So I have my scissors here. Basically, there's going to be four cuts we're going to do. We're going to do two in the center, as you can see here, and then you're going to do two on the side. It's kind of giving this nice wing look as well. Some things to consider, you don't want to cut too short and too long, and I'll show you those examples as well. So you're going to want to use this as your gauge, this top part, which is the same size as the bottom as well. So that's going to be a cut right there, a cut right there, length of this so this is a little bit over two inches um, but it's less than two and a half okay you can get the exact measurements with your own ruler so you're gonna want to cut down pretty much as far as that as you can see here so I'm gonna just put it next to it and there you go there is the actual cut so it's about the same length as that now the wings on the side are gonna be about three-fourths of that cut so once you make that center cut you're gonna go about three fourths and you wanna go at an angle. You don't want it to be too short because then it's not gonna be able to bear or hold the actual necklace, but it's about three fourths from this cut. These are really good um, dimensions for you to use and you'll see why in a bit. Now I showed an example as to why. So you can see here, this is really way over the cut, okay? As if I'm measuring right here, look how far this cut is. And the reason for that is if you have the necklace, which is going to be this top part right here, it's going to be too far down. So it's going to make this sag. OK, if you make this too short, as you can see right there, it's not going to be able to carry the sides well. OK, it's going to be more like bent. So we don't want that. The dimensions that I mentioned earlier are perfect. You're going to get the same size as the top part for your width. And the length for this is going to be a little over two inches. Once again, this cut is going to be about three fourths of this actual cut. And we're going to go into it, not too short, to go ahead and give it that nice look. So let's put our necklace together. What I'm going to do is actually do a kind of a thicker necklace as well. You know that there's stability in this, okay? Now, by all means, dainty necklaces are going to be super easy together. So I'm challenging myself to be able to do this for you folks. So let's just do a cut right now. I'm going to do all the measurements together with you so you know how simple it is, okay? 
I got my trusty scissors and I got my template. So once again, I am just gonna do my cut for you folks, just like that, slit, slit. And I can go and gauge it by putting this next to it. And I'm gonna just go right down from where I actually cut. So it's about that. And then I can mirror on the other end, okay? Once again, the wings are gonna be about the same. So, so I'm gonna go in right from the side, as you can see right there. And I'm gonna make that cut about three fourths. And I'm gonna match it on the other side. You can eyeball or you can pencil it. It's really up to you. I'm an eyeball person, I'll just do it. You know what I mean? I'll wing it. If it doesn't look good, then I'll do it again. But most of the time I'm pretty good. So here's my necklace. And what I'm gonna do is create this. So all you have to do is on the wings on each side is put the necklace in. And you're gonna know kind of how far because you can see your center right there. So you kind of know how far you're doing. And I'm doing this on a camera. So if I can do this on a camera, you can do this just as is, all right? Once you get those in the wings, then you're gonna pull this over to go ahead and show the front part, okay? Once you kind of got a hold of that, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this, tuck anything in if you need to. As you can see, here's the slack. Just kind of tuck it in. Now, here's a trick that I also noticed as well. You see the inside of this actual piece where they put the necklace in? You can actually tuck this part in it. So it kind of holds it right there. So once again, you got that slit right there. This part right here, I'm just gonna tuck it right in. Now, if you cut it too small, if you cut it too short, then it might have a little bit of an issue. So there you go, you got a cute one right there. Now, if it happens to sag in the front, like let me make this sag like that, it's okay because it's gonna be in its plastic to hold it in its place, okay? So adjust as needed, make sure this isn't too time consuming. Now for me, this is fine. And if you put your business card right there with a tape or you can just leave it hanging, that's fine as well. But for me, I like it to give more of a classy look, which is why I went with five by seven business cards. Now make sure that you always put a picture on your business card so people can put a face to a name. And I'm just gonna put that back there. Now you can decide how you wanna package it. We are ready to package it up. All I'm gonna do is grab my plastic. Now the plastic, once again, you pull the string off, it's sticky and you fold it over. I want my business card to be on the part where it folds over because the front side is the side that you want the jewelry to display. So when I actually put my piece of jewelry in, I'll grab the center like this, okay? I'll get my plastic, okay? With the longer side right here being in the front and then I'll drop my actual piece nicely in there as you can see, okay? Not too difficult. Make sure the earrings don't get caught. It goes right in. I'm gonna slip that piece in right there. As you can see, it looks really great. Remember the flat folds over like this. So I'm gonna make sure my business card goes in right there in front of it. So when I'm ready to package it up, I'll put my flap over. So look how cute this backside looks. It covers the extra slack, which is fine. It's okay if it's there, but it just covers it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastic off so I can actually put down my sticky. Make sure everything is good before you do that. So I pulled my plastic off. My backing looks great. It's the flap that goes over this way. And my front is super cute. Look how that came out. Very chic, very professional looking. And you can sell this for $5. This is meant for packaging, so it's totally compliant. So if you want to mass produce your cardstocks, you know this one is great, you did the wings great, you did the center great, you can just get a few more cardstocks, put it together by combining it, and then just do your cuts as seen on the template, okay? So I'm looking at my template and I'm just gonna cut, 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 because you know exactly how it is. Now you have an extra two cardstock to use and you can continue this over and over. If you feel this could be like a harder cardstock or maybe a cardboard, and then you mass produce off of that, that will work just fine as well. So now I have these great pieces, front and back. I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Try to make it as easy as possible so it's not so time consuming. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on. Now, if you ever wanted to own your own business, work your own schedule, be your own boss, please contact me at shinewithaloha at gmail.com. We welcome you to the team with paparazzi accessories where you have an amazing upline and an opportunity to be successful. So be blessed and don't forget to let God's light and love shine through you. Aloha.